Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Steve-O, the Rideshare Rookie, coming back at you. All right, guys. One of my subscribers asked me to do a quick tutorial on the Lyft app, and that's what we're going to do. I am also going to do one on the Uber app, so stay tuned for that. So let's jump right into it, guys. Uh, this is where you'll see basically what Lyft is predicting to be the busy times in the Orlando market. Every market's different, as you guys know. Um, pay attention to the bottom bars down here. The money sign is basically where you'll see how much money you're at for the week. And as you can see right there, it tells you about the streak bonuses that are coming. So Friday, if you do three consecutive trips, uh, I don't want to call them consecutives because I don't want to, you know, I'll, we'll get into that when I do the Uber tutorial. But yeah, you earn $6 uh, for a three trip straight on, uh, on lit street bonus. What I like about the street bonus is that you don't necessarily have to be in a particular area. So the next tab over, guys, will show you how to refer people, view available pickups. That is one feature about Lyft that I absolutely love is that you can do variable pickups. So if I was to pick up with this one, which I'm not going to, I don't do a lot of Lyft, it would show up in this next column over here. Uh, and then down here we have the referrals. Um, if you do want to refer drivers, you just click on that piece of cake. You can hit share. Let's see. Go ahead and hit share real quick and take that down i want you guys to see my contacts <laughs> all right guys the next one is going to be let's see let's jump into thinking here all right so this is your dash your home screen now here you can do a lot of things as you can see they have an option for feedback they have the dashboard option we'll click there if it wants to load all right, so this basically tells you your acceptance rate and your rating. As you guys can see, I don't do a lot of lift. 49 lifetime trips, right? Right down there at the bottom, that's where you can invite more people. Uh, you can go to driving history and driver info, of course. So sometimes these things take a little bit of time to load. Come on. Uh, it doesn't want to load. Come on, flip a load. All right, so, yeah, basically has my name, my email. I do need to update my address. That's no longer my address, so I don't care if you guys see that. Um, and then this will be the vehicle tab. So this is my car. Uh, basically, you know, if you, and then it has the rental options. Pay attention here. So you can rent a Lyft car for two nineteen dollars a week, essentially. They do give you some kickbacks. If you need to order a trade dress, it's right there. Uh, lift emblem you can order it um i'm gonna start making some more videos based on orlando driving we'll talk about that later uh there is a tutorial so if you want to go in there that's where you had to take that uh safety or whatever that thing was called due by the 15th uh let's see guys so we have our tutorials we got our rate card payout information this is good this is where you can basically update your um, how you want to get paid, bank accounts, things like that. And this tab here is your rate card, okay? It's still showing 53 cents per mile in Orlando, one of the worst markets. I did post or make a video about a driver that got paid 56 cents per mile on a Lyft trip. I think that was an error because as you could see, well, we'll get into that in one second. Uh, so this is how you'll go. You'll navigate. If you want to go online, you basically hit that little steering wheel at the top and then over to the right, those three bars, this is how you set a destination. You can either do arrive on time, right? So if we click on this and I'll just type in my old address, you could scroll through and choose the time, set the filter. I'm not going to actually set a filter and then you can head to a destination. So we'll just pick the airport on this one, right? So you set the filter. I don't care about using one. I don't do a lot of lift. It's going to ask you if you want to navigate. You hit no. Unless you want to navigate there, that's fine. As you notice there at the bottom, you got your dollar amount. Uh, the drop down over there is if you need 911 for anything. Um, turn driver mode back off. Basically have your map. It's going to ask you how was your experience today. Yada, yada, yada. Let me see if I can get this thing to load for the airport so you could go over there in the airport and basically says right now there's a 29 about a half hour to 60 minute wait i call bullshit on that uh because there's about 200 in queue at uber so 
yeah, I wouldn't really rely on that a whole lot. Uh, that's pretty much it, guys. It's a real simple system, um, you know, to use. It's really not that hard. Uh, there are pros and cons to Uber and Lyft. Uh, me, personally, I prefer doing Lyft. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Uber. I'm not a big Lyft driver. That's why I have 50, not even 50 lifetime trips, guys, okay? And then it talks about, you know, referrals, things like that. Um, yeah. Different tools you can use in here. Under your settings, if you have an amp, you just go there to the amp and you compare it with your Bluetooth. I think they're fading those out. I'm not real sure. I had a couple ones. Uh, I, I do want to show you guys this, though, because you can actually go in there. I think Lyft gives you about 24 hours to give a rider a rating, okay? Um, let's see. Okay, this is Ride Challenge. Sorry, jumped a little bit too quick. Uh, but Ride Challenge will break down. They usually, Lyft is really good about sending you text messages about streaks, things like that. Um, and then basically I want to show you guys, I haven't done any Lyft today, I haven't done any Uber, but you can see on this last ride I did yesterday, I did get a tip, but let me just show you guys down here at the bottom. You see it's, it's grayed out now, but that's an option to go in there and rate your passenger. You guys have like 24 hours usually to do it. Um, and the reason is obviously is because if they don't tip you, you know, they don't want you giving them a star based on that. And yeah, I think that's all I got for this one, guys. Just a quick video on how to use the Lyft app. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns on this or anything else, check the description below for more helpful, useful information. Uh, keep doing your thing. Be safe. Be smart. Don't be stupid. Get your advice from real rideshare drivers, not these fakes. And uh, the next video I post will be about the Uber. I'll do an Uber tutorial app for you guys that may want to, you know, maybe you're a new driver and you need to know about this stuff. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got for this one. Uh, like I said, I'm going to start focusing more on uh, some different videos to include dash cam footage. Um, and we're going to talk about, you know, you know, Orlando specific, my market on basically good areas to work, things like that. So that's all I got till this one. Uh, next time. Till then, keep making your money. Uber, Lyft, gig on. Peace out, guys. Later.